Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a custom store locator on your Wix website. With this store locator, not only can you completely customize it, but your users can also search for a specific location and they would even be able to enable their current location so they can actually visualize which location is closest to them. Now, I do wanna mention that this is a paid service, but I am not sponsored, nor do I have an affiliate link with them. I honestly just believe that this is an essential tool if you have more than three to five business locations. But let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is come to atlistmaps.com the link to that will be in the description below and you'll be able to sign up right in the top once you sign up it's going to put you right into creating your map for your website what I would suggest you do first is come up to the top middle and rename the map now for today's video I'm just going to kind of create a Shake Shack location map so I'm gonna name this one Shake Shack maps or Shake Shack locations so now now our map is named. Now we can go ahead and start adding our locations. So the first thing you want to do is just come over here and add in a address. Now it's going to go ahead and find the location here. But let's say you don't want to add every single location manually. What you can do is come over here and you can import a CSV. And then once you upload the CSV, this is what we're gonna see. And we're gonna go ahead and press start import. And it's gonna go ahead and add in all of our locations, just like that. And the cool thing is, if you want to break down all of your locations by a specific city, what you can do is come up to this add button and go to create group. Now we can name this group Toronto, and then we can drag all of the Toronto locations into this group. Now this is only really good if you have tons of locations across a country or a state or something like that so for now I am not gonna do that but it is really cool to see that you have that option now that we have completely built out all of our locations now we can go from build to style and the cool thing is is we can actually change the colors we can change the shape the size the border and we can even change the icon or a custom marker but since this is Shake Shack what I'm gonna go come over here and do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab their color from their website I'm gonna come over to color and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the hex code just like that perfect now I personally do like this circle one but if you wanted to you could also use these here as well which maybe for this one we'll choose this little circular with a little point at the bottom and of course we can bring up the size if we wanted to to be really big or we can make it really small but for this example let's just leave it in the middle actually we'll bring it down a little bit and for the border we can bring up the border quite a bit or we can bring it down but I honestly like it around there but now let's go ahead and choose an icon and for this example I'm going to use a little shake icon now this is kind of low res, so you'd probably want to find one that is a little bit bigger. But for this example, I think it will be nice. But not only can we style the markers, we can also come over to modal and we can go ahead and set this to, we can set it to be above. We can set it to be on the right hand side. So if I just click this, we're gonna see the current modal, but we can set it to above, we can set it to right left and anchored so anchored would be kind of up here which sounds personally my favorite now as of right now this is only showing the name of the location the address and just some text about it so if we go back to build and we click on a location here we can actually upload images as well so now we will get a nice image with the name of the location, the address of the location, and then you can also set notes. Okay, so instead of just some generic note, we can actually put in like the hours and some contact information. So it looks a little bit like that. And the cool thing is, is we can actually style this one. So we can bold like this main text, and we can also make these a little bit bigger, just like that. Great, but now if we come back over to style and we go to the modal, here we can actually choose the background card color so we can have it be black if we wanted to but I do think white is probably the best for this example and we can also choose the title color and size so maybe something around that size maybe for the address we want it to be the same color as our green for Shake Shack and we can also change the weight and size of this as well okay and then the note below here we can actually set the color of this we can also change the size and the weight and I think that looks really nice 
And the next thing that we can actually edit is the map theme. So if we come over to change theme, we're gonna see that there is a long list of different themes that we can choose from. However, there's a section right here where you can add code for your own map style, which if we go to snazzymaps.com, we can just search for one that we like. And personally, I really like this one right here. And literally all we have to do is expand the code and we can just copy all of this code right here. We can come back to the JSON map style and paste it in and now our map is updated now that we have styled our map let's come over to controls now here you can set your gesture handling your options for disabling zoom but you also have controls for zoom full screen street view scale and here is the current location now unfortunately our modal is covering that up so let me just go ahead and make the modal to the right of the map location but as you can see here now we have the current location now as you can see when I clicked that right up here, it's going to say, do you allow this website to know your location? Now your users are going to have to press allow because this isn't just something that for security reasons, it's not just going to let every single website know your location, which is ideal. So if a user clicks on this little current location and they press allow, then they'll be able to see their location and it should be near one of those locations. Once you are done with the design of your website, then you can come over to publish. And what we're going to see here is basically a breakdown of what it's going to look like on your website. However, if you want to, you could have the sidebar right here enabled, and this will allow your users to search for specific locations. But once you are done with the design, then what you can do is come over to this embed code. We're just going to double click it and we're going to copy it. Next, we're going to come over to our Wix website and we're going to go ahead and add an embed element. Next, let's go ahead and enter some code and we're just going to paste in that code that we got from Atlas maps and we're going to go ahead and press OK. Now I'm just going to go ahead and expand this quite a bit and as you can see the code is only taking up maybe like 400 pixels. So what we can do is edit the code We can come over to the height and we can maybe set this to 600 pixels. So this would be the map on the page. Now, when you pay for Atlas after your 14 day free trial, or you can just skip that and straight to paying for it, you when you pay for it, it'll remove the made with Atlas part right here. So you won't have to worry about that, but this is what we're gonna see when we have our live site. So as you can see, I can use this as a normal user. If I click on a location here, we're gonna get that information. And if we go back to Atlas map, something I forgot to show you is we can actually set the directions button. So as you can see here, when you have that selected, it's gonna give you a little button at the bottom of the modal to let your users get directions straight to that location. So because I added that, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this code again. I'm gonna come back over to our website. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the code and I'm gonna replace the code with the new published version, okay? Now, when I click on a specific location, now we're gonna get that get directions button right here. So as you can see, this is an actually a really cool tool that's very customizable that you can use if you have multiple locations for your business. I can't recommend this enough. And again, I am not sponsored or affiliated with them at all. I just really want to promote this awesome tool. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.